Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to the second Amiibo Monday where uh, we are going to roll a dice face off against one of these Amiibos down here, 1v1 style. Uh, last time we so... I don't know. I don't even know what the word is. Uh, fittingly, I, I think oops, obliteration oops. I might, Sorry, be, yes. uh, might be a, a fair way to describe yeah. it. Yeah, we, we faced off against Spring Break Bowser, who uh, obviously destroyed, just destroyed us in like record time. So, uh, how it's going to work is uh, we're going to. I don't think they're all quite as bad as Bowser, although if we end up against. Uh, and that's not good either. I'll tell that's you what. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now, it's I, I not think good. Cloud is also is pretty. <laughs> realistically, I think Zero Suit Samus and Ridley are our best chance. Our of best chance is like, a victory. A victory. Yes. Yeah. I played against our Cloud Amiibo. Some. I, it is. It. It feels doable. It. He, he you gotta, is you gotta be up. good. Yeah. He's powered up in such a way that one hit lands. A lot like, of like damage, like forty percent. So if he yeah. hits you three, four times, you're just done. Right. Yeah. So you got to you got to be quick. You got to hit him, keep him at a distance, and then finish him strong. But it is doable. Anyway, uh, Jordan, do you want to roll the dice and see who we're gonna land against here? We landed on four. Oh, that's Zero Suit Samus! Hey, hey we, we have a chance doable. at victory. We might. So you're the saying there's a chance? <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm hearing. Oh going, man, I think the the. Going, Nerve-wracking element of fighting Zero Suit Samus is now. I, now we've said it's easy. So I know. So if yeah. we lose, it's like, what does that say about every other one? That's I'm gonna better? go ahead and bring in Spring oh, Break Bowser go. myself oh. to see if we can uh, perhaps take her score down. a victory. Yes. Here we go. Bring it on, Jordan. I think you have some questions. I do. Oh, I watch do. Watch me get destroyed. Oh. You got home field advantage. It looks like. So today we have a question from Max Lee K. Uh, Max Lee says, Hi, Jay, Ben, DK, and Jordan. I really want to study abroad next spring, and it's coming up on the time that I need to start applying for that. Uh, with my current major and situation, I'm boiled down, I've boiled down my options to either Stop London it. or Stop Rome. It. I'm really torn about where I want to go. London has more options for me to take classes within my major, and if I went to Rome, I would be taking more interesting electives. There wouldn't be any language barrier in London, but I kind of wonder if I should try to put myself out of my comfort zone and go to Rome instead. Love you guys so much. Thanks for the advice. Oh, I man. love the get yourself out of the comfort zone thing. Well, um, yeah, I, yeah. I would say first things first. It's just great that you're studying abroad. Yeah, like, I, man, I don't. You will not regret doing I that. I so wish that I had. That's. Um. Yeah, it's like it, I I studied abroad. I didn't do a full semester. I did like the. Um, it She's was like a, a May juggler. master, so it was like 21 days, and I was in Australia for like <laughs> wow, weird. 15, weird. Oh, and then wow. in uh, New Zealand for the remaining six. Um, awesome. The thing, you know, Derek, you're like immediately no. like, oh yeah, language uh -oh. barrier, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, well, I don't uh, say that it could possibly uh, not go gosh. wrong, but like... I mean, yes, like, like oh, pros go outside right, of comfort zone. Oh man, I thought you were having So, it. one of the things I have to say about studying abroad is that no matter what, you are going to go through culture shock. Like, I went to Australia, which is basically just like the same as America in a different part of the world. <laughs> uh, like, language is incredibly similar, and like, and yet it was still very different. Like, it still took a, a significant amount of, like, adjusting to just all of the smaller little differences uh, sure. associated with, with being there. Um, so I don't know what okay, it would be like um, diving in. And, and I'm sure the good thing about doing a spring or a full semester is that you have all that extra time to like, to get past the culture shock. Like I was there just yeah, long enough true. that by the time I was leaving, I was pretty much like, oh, I'm finally getting the hang of this. Right. And I was actually telling you guys the other day that this is like ever since uh, 2011, when I went to Australia, I have still never recovered from the, the sidewalk walk. Oh yeah, you told me. Yeah, you were talking about yeah. this. Yeah. So in in Australia, uh, then oh, when on. walking down the sidewalk, uh, you walk on the left side, and the person like just the same way as, as you would driving in, in the UK or in Australia, uh, where it's opposite. Mm -hmm. And now when I'm like walking down the streets of Roanoke, I very frequently will like have this moment of no. like, wait, am I supposed to be on the left or the right here? No. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh so no! Oh, oh my so gosh. Close. So mad. I thought I had her on that one up smash. That's so annoying. 
<laughs> she got the smash ball on me, and that She's was basically very fast. It. Yeah, she could really juggle me a lot once she yeah. got going up there. God, now I'm embarrassed. We were like, oh, zero through Sam as well. <laughs> How hard could what it possibly be? be? <laughs> Man, no, oh, Catwoman takes the victory. All right, Ben, I will. I'll pass. I will, I will say this lasted way longer than we did against Bowser. Bowser. Oh, yeah. Bowser. Did we even get a kill on Bowser? I don't think. Davis? I don't think any of us did. Gosh. And then when we did three v one, I think he got five kills on the yeah. nine of us. Oh so, yeah. Oh. So here we go. Ben's up. Hurricane Ike in the building. So. Uh, Jay and DK, both of you, I believe, expressed that you did not study abroad and you wished that you oh, would Oh, I so wish that oh, I had. Oh, yes. Yeah. I uh, just didn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't know. It never, like, I don't feel like I was, maybe, maybe it sounds stupid, but I don't feel like I was, like, presented with an opportunity. Like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's, it's like something, it was, it was one of those things where, like, the, uh, the business school does, man, I just land a hit here. <laughs> there you go. Oh, just a little... Just keep on doing that. Sword okay, dancing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Eventually, I will land a hit. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Boy, maybe Samus is better than we thought. Oh it could just be yeah. like when we face them all off against once, like the That's big true. groups. Like she might just not do well in that capacity. Yeah, like, Goodness gracious! Just, just one hit. <laughs> That's, yeah, that, That's all I'm really hoping for. Just one hit. Just Oh! Oh, just getting juggled to oblivion. Jeez, dude. Jeez. Oh, this is this is an entertaining Man, watch. I, I suddenly don't like my chances. <laughs> oh. Um, so Ben, like, you said that the business school allowed it, and Jay, you said that you didn't feel like there was an opportunity. Oh, to certainly, like no, no, like my communication classes were like, well, there's going to be a communication to study abroad thing here happening, you know, uh, for this, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Certainly, I could have sought it out had it really been very important to me, but it, the it it wasn't one of those things that like. It felt like one of those things that you should do what? if it was like good for your major, not just yeah, because yeah. it was uh, yeah. Because it was available to you. Because it was available yes, to me. Ben. And, oh no! Oh. oh. Well. Um, huh. And so that's basically my excuse for not having done it. But I super duper wish I had. Like uh, I know Ben did it. A lot of my other friends did it. And uh, the thing is, yeah, whether you go to Europe or sorry, you're going to Europe. <laughs> uh, Italy or London, it sounds like you, you were going to have an amazing time, probably life changing in either capacity. Oh, it would definitely, yeah. it would yeah. definitely be life changing. Awesome. Um, yeah, there's, there's no two oh. ways about it. This is just not going well. I, Ooh. if I were this person, if I were, what was it, Maxley, Maxwell, Maxley, I would probably go to Rome, but that's because I've wanted to go to Rome like for as long as I can remember. I think wanting the, to travel. that just you know getting outside of your comfort zone exactly like they said. It's like the the ships are safe in the harbor, but that's not what ships are for, kind of a thing. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like uh, what what is there is a, a quote. There about, you go. Aha! Yeah. <laughs> it's boom. Oh no. Yeah, good hit. Dead. Yes. Okay. Right, yeah. I got, I, got ben. I got a kill. <laughs> There we go. I don't want to brag more. or anything, but that's all I needed. <laughs> yep, that feels like a victory to me. I get to go home and... Oh, so could it be? She is quick, man. Yeah, it's like that. I literally have not been able to do my side charge thing, which is usually my way to like sort of set up my smash attacks. I have not hit her with it once. Like, she will just jump over there me every time. Oof. That is, that is rough. She is intense. Man, the other thing that gets me occasionally with with Ike is I think that I'm setting up my uh, my side dash thing that right yeah. there, mm -hmm. and with the GameCube controller, every once in a while I I like angle the remote like the joystick just ever so slightly to the side, and I'm oh. setting up my other smack. Oh. Or, the other one. Yes. Mm -hmm. That that exactly oh. what I just described. Yeah, yeah. that's it's like ah oh, I, I missed what I was attempting to do. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez. Um, I Could it did be? Not, oh, if you can get the smash ball. I did not get to do it's a possible. full semester study abroad thing, but I also uh, got an opportunity to get her in. surprisingly travel internationally a couple yes. of times oh. um, in undergrad. So I went to like an academic conference in Brazil that was really cool, and we were there for a week, but got several days to sort of explore the city. Um, where was this? In Brazil? Yeah, I think it was in Rio de Janeiro, but it was literally more than 10 years ago, so I don't remember. <laughs> um, oh, that was a good and dive, And then man. I also got to go to Costa Rica to hike on a mountain for a week for one of my classes. 
um, literally got class credit to be there, which was really cool. <gasps> oh! oh! The Ike aside. That's the <laughs> Ike aside. <laughs> it feels like I should have at least I, hit her in it, the process it, of going if down. If you had, I think you would have gotten the win because you would have spiked her down ahead no. of you. Oh. oh man, that was really close. My so goodness. Hard. That was just, uh, what amount of damage did I take? Oh! Whoa. Not not a good ratio there. Whew, yeah, boy. Oh, she was going out. Insane. And yet, both a, uh, you still came down to the final stock though. You got that smash on her. There we go. Oh, All right, guys. Well, this seems like a great time to break for today's Patreon sponsor of the day, Clark. Clark wants to say, why did the coffee file a police report? It got mugged. Speaking of coffee, have you tried Carlin Brothers coffee? Oh, wow. Wait, <laughs> oh my gosh, I like Clark. How I like how Clark went ahead and introduced his own uh, brand of our brand <laughs> into yes. the thing, his, his sponsor message. Yeah, that's this is yeah. like doubling down on his support of Super Carlin Brothers it's pretty here amazing, at the moment. Clark. Yeah. yeah, I mean Carlin Brothers coffee, pretty awesome. As is Clark. Yeah, yeah. Even though he is today's sponsor of the day, we can speak very highly of him. Mm. Aside, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Yes. Well, thank you so much, as always, Clark. If you want to be uh, a Patreon sponsor, get a message into the middle of one of our episodes, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Yeah, we are actually coming up on prom season, and it is mm -hmm. our life's dream to successfully send somebody oh, yeah. to prom oh, yes. via oh, yes. the, game, the gaming channel. We've had it almost happen once upon a time, and then it turned out that the girl that our sponsor was going to ask moved schools. Ugh. Like, not just schools, like moved states. States. Moved states. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how did that happen? So anyway, Ugh. if you could help us fulfill your dreams in the process of fulfilling your need to ask the right person the prom, we would appreciate it. We sure would. <laughs> we sure would. Derek, you mix it up. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who, who I want to be oh, here. Uh, Dark Pit was pretty good the other day. You were, yeah, you were having uh, some success. But I feel like I'm just not as comfortable with it. I'm pretty comfortable with Donkey Kong, DK on DK. Oh, DK on DK. DK is Donkey Kong is pretty it. slow. Good luck. Well, we'll uh, see. We'll but see. he has power. That is true. But strength. all three of us have gone for big muscles against her. And oh, so far, it has only semi worked. Yep. So, related to study abroad, we actually have a, a similar but reverse question from Danielle. Oh my god, I cannot mind. Uh, she yeah. says, <laughs> I currently live in Scotland, and this summer I am going to be a camp counselor in Florida. I've never been to the U.S., so is there anything you specifically recommend trying? Also, have you guys ever been to summer camp, and what did you guys like about your summer camps? Oh man, oh, man. let's see. She's going. Okay, so she's going to a summer camp in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going to be a counselor, so she she will have a little bit of flexibility to like travel away from the camp, probably. Right. Oh, that sounds very fun. But do we know where the camp is? Uh, she said in oh, Florida. Florida. Oh, Jeez, Jay, were you even? I was, be prepared to be very, 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 very warm. Hot. Yeah. Especially coming from Scotland. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah. it will oh, be. It will be, as they say, humid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will be humid. Uh, bring your gator spray. <laughs> gator spray. <laughs> yeah. They just buzz around. They all just over. buzz around. They have wings down there. Yeah. Weird, like yeah. a dragonfly. Seriously, bug spray all of the the deet as as much as you can can wear, especially yeah. in the summertime. Basically one big swamp. Although if you're going to Florida, it sounds like the one the, something you could try is obviously like some of uh, their many amusement parks probably. Oh, I don't yeah. know, are you gonna be in the Orlando area? No! Oh, dang it! Summer, summer. At least you got 83 on her by the time you died your first time. Yeah, um, well. I'm trying, yeah, I'm Boink. trying to think of like what all things, it's such a weird thing not knowing like uh, what America has that other places yeah, like, what, what, what is there now? What is great about where we live? It's like and when so, people live in like a semi-small city and they're like, oh, there's nothing to do here. Right, right. <laughs> well, you know, the other thing too is that like America is so big and uh, culturally like different based on where oh, you visit. Oh, nice punch. Like Florida has a totally different culture than like that watch and mountain. Yeah, right. Yeah. Live. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, and different parts of Florida yeah, are even totally yeah, different. Yeah, like, even, yeah, even like South Florida versus North Florida versus Miami. North Florida yeah. is effectively a different state. Yes. As, yeah. Miami's basically Cuba. That's, mm -hmm. I think, uh, oh my gosh. Cuba oh, food. Yes. yes. Wherever you are uh, in Florida, ask someone who's somewhat local there what the best food is, and, or like the best local food, and get that. That's what you're gonna have to do, yeah. You're gonna have to like find a local and ask them about the food because they're gonna know way better. Oh, that is, yeah, it's such a thing. Oh, like, he jumped so wow. fast. 
I, of, I would also say that our last question person, wherever you end up studying abroad, also ask local people about good food. Right, right, right. Sure. Yeah, where to go. Um, that, go. It is such a thing, too, because, like, if you were to come to Roanoke, uh, I would be willing to bet that, like, Texas Tavern would come up and, like, oh. your places to eat very quickly, uh, which is, like, a local... It, it is, like, quite literally a oh, hole in the wow. wall type right. of place, about the same size as as, as a hole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um... What does the sign on the door say? Like we see, like or we can see three hundred people, like twelve at a time, or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, that's um, hilarious. But if you were actually to come here, it is not maybe the place that I would say go and uh, establish your opinion about yep. where to eat based on that. Yeah, me neither. Um, you can do it, Derek. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, the other thing that is, speaking of food, kind of different, uh, and kind of going back to me being in Australia, the, like, McDonald's was different. Oh! Australia. That's really fascinating. Uh, yeah, like, the, the food Reached is not there. even at all the same. Um, Americans have a lot of salt I was, everything. Whenever I am abroad, not which has been uh, twice ever, um, my goal is to eat as much food as possible. Oh yeah. Just experience as much of the cuisine. That's gonna be. I feel like that's one of the fastest way to experience a different culture is to go it's for the food. food. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Oh, Derek. Derek, you can. It can, oh it can happen. You got it, Derek. You can do it. I don't know if I should be rooting for you or not. No. <laughs> I mean, like, yes, yes, but. Yes, yes. Oh, oh you should. Where was the smash? Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this that, that is gotta be yeah. 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 the greatest yeah. Smash player alive! <laughs> oh the, my god. The DK DK. She's so fast. She is quick. My goodness. Oh. Woo! Yeah, I'm look at her just, sitting just down there clapping. all of this. She's clap. just, oh my gosh. If she does look. That, she looks that is deep. the most <laughs> passive aggressive <laughs> loser face I've seen from any Phenomenal. Smash character. Some of them are back there like, yeah, good job. She's like, I will kill you. <laughs> Come at me one more time, bro. I am not messing around. Wow. wow. That's well done. We did it. Well done. Hey, thanks. Hooray! Does that so, mean that we get to? Um, I don't know. We haven't really talked about it. <laughs> what happens, <laughs> what happens no when we win? <laughs> I don't know. Does that mean that the next time we play Zero Suit Samus, that Derek doesn't have to play, or that I he has to play with a handicap? Uh, mm. I don't like either of those options. I think <laughs> my thought is, that, yeah, the next time it comes up, Derek would have the get a, get his own dice roll, perhaps, to like for a chance Whoa. at someone else. That's yeah. fun. That is a thought. We could actually we could leave it to them see if uh, they have any suggestions as to what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's another good option as well. Yeah. What do you think we should do now? Should we roll Zero Suit Samus again next Monday? Should Derek get another roll at a different character? Should he play against just <laughs> her just at a handicap? Uh, <coughs> or do we have plenty of <coughs> runway ahead of us with how long it's going to ever take us to defeat Bowser? Oh, that's true. Like, yeah. like should we just knock Zero Suit Samus out of like the running now? Like, or, yeah, have, or is she eliminated completely? From yeah, the game. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I, I think if the game is for all three of us to defeat all of them, at some point in time, I'm going to have a lot left to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, that's fair. Maybe Zero Suit Samus is just eliminated. I, th I think eliminated. she could If it's the case that she's totally eliminated, though, then there's some benefit to going not first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just like watching other people play Ooh, against. Ooh, sure, them. sure, sure. That's true. Well, so we could like rotate which order we go in. That's true. Certainly. Too. We that can mix way. that up as well. Yeah, that's that's really the only reason Derek won was he, uh, he, that's, right, that's yeah, right. right. You weren't fair. I was Derek. just Jeez. studying my opponent though. Yeah, so. you have to watch yeah. a lot of film. Uh, right, right. <laughs> Alright, so maybe next week we will have a uh, randomly chosen order as okay. well. Okay, but there so the go. other thing too is that we've only just launched this project that's and right. people have not had much opportunity to train up their amiibos and send them to I us. I feel like it's only gonna get way harder. Oh yeah, right. but what I'm saying is that if we eliminate Zero Suit Samus, it's entirely possible by next week we'll have a whole new amiibo to throw into the... We could have like three Zero Suit Samuses by yes. then. Yeah. I mean, the goal at some point would be to have all of the amiibos. Oh boy. That's all of a, them. That's a lot of amiibos. It's a, well, not, yeah. not one of each one. All of them. All of them. <laughs> right. There's like four Bowser amiibos. You know? yeah. yeah, no, I'm... I'm yeah. No further clarification needed. <laughs> I got you. I, hate I you. meant what I meant. <laughs> We're going to have a whole wall of dangerous opponents staring at us the whole time. Honestly, we, we could have like two shelves, one for the ones that we've defeated and one for the one that Ooh. we haven't. Okay, so we can get a really small shelf. <laughs> yeah. A really, really big <laughs> shelf. Yeah. We'll be in great shape, you Indeed. guys. But you know what they say, keep your enemies close. Yeah. 
How much closer can we keep them than in our own office? They are yep. literally, I could knock them over with my elbow right now. I don't think you could. Sitting. I don't think, no, I mean, they're all pretty trained up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, I think you would out. throw your elbow out and find that your elbow met a concrete wall. <laughs> I won't try it. I won't try it because that's something that's going to hurt. But thank you guys so much for your questions. If you have any other advice you want uh, answered or want to ask someone to prom, uh, be sure to leave it down in the towel section down below. If you want to send us an amiibo to fight against, the uh, address for that is in the description as well. But until next time, show the cannons, show the cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. pirates.